let's get into it, gentlemen. Well, welcome to to the AZSE network. First of all, uh, we were yeah. just <laughs> we were ribbing back it. and forth, and Sam was having a hard time getting his audio connected. So I don't want to get into that too much, um, but I, it's my pleasure to have all three of you here. Um, each one of you representing your respective sports teams. I really want to use this opportunity for the three of you to introduce yourselves and then also the show that you're getting started. So Tyler, I'd love it if you could start. All right, yeah, so uh, my name's Tyler Pope. Uh, went to Western Carolina, go Cats, with uh, Sam down there. And uh, we uh, both did sport management, uh, got some internships with the Elon Phoenix, uh, did my dirty work in minor league baseball with the Burlington Royals rookie league team. Uh, eventually led on to an internship at Duke University where I got to experience some college game day stuff, really fell in love with marketing there. Uh, then that led me to uh, good old Northern Illinois where I got my master's degree where I met Anthony. Uh, he was a GA when uh, – he was a second-year GA when I was a first-year GA, so I'm sure he'll get more into that. But I uh, spent two years at NIU, uh, just fell in love with everything, went on to uh, go to Georgia for a marketing position, uh, and then wound up at IMG Learfield where I spent about nine months there before COVID hit and uh, got my position eliminated. So – uh, we're excited to to join you guys at AZSE. Um, this is our first yeah. time ever attempting to do a podcast. Uh, we've all three well, talked in. about it a little bit. We're in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've all three talked about it here and there with other people, and we're just like, you know what, let's do it. Um, let's kind of – what we're trying to do here is kind of reach out to the, like, young professionals, uh, trying to get into the sport industry, and kind of connect with them on different levels, and just have a good time talk as buddies and talk about sports and our experiences in marketing and uh, the sport industry. Cool. Well, it's about, it's been about four minutes and I've already had a blast with the three of you. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see where this I takes you. We might be going down the right road. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Tyler, this is totally irrelevant, but what team do you root for? So uh, you can ask these guys. My teams are kind of all over the place. He's a bandwagon uh, fan for only bad teams. I am, okay, I am not a bandwagon fan. It makes no sense. <laughs> so, so growing up, I always an Atlanta Braves fan. All my family's been an Atlanta Braves fan. Uh, when I was about seven years old, I started watching an Oregon football game. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, they're the same colors as the high school I'm going to go to. So I just started following them, became a huge Oregon fan. I have at least like six, seven Oregon jerseys, um, followed basketball and everything. Including uh, SQ. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then um, for football, I am an, actually a New York Giants fan. Uh, because when I, was, when I was a kid, my cousin actually married the fullback, Jim Finn, of the New York Giants. So I started following them. Interesting. And then uh, Carolina Hurricanes, baby. About to go, go to the sweep tonight against the Rangers. I'm excited. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a fantasy team going with uh, – I forget. Who's, who's the guy – I think it's uh, Jacob. What's his last name? Slavin. Slavin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He pumped in My that guy. first goal. Yeah. Yes, I, sir. I um, well, great. It, it's a pleasure to meet you and welcome yeah. to to the network. I'm excited to see your guys' show launch. Sam, going to you next, my guy. Oh boy, I'm next. Yeah, so my name is Sam Place. Uh, same as Tyler, I went to Western Carolina and then I pretty much just followed him after that. So then I, I, from there I went and then I worked at Duke for a semester. And then after that, I job I job hunted for like three months, and I finally got a job at a James Madison up in Virginia, <clears throat> and I was there for two years. And then once the, all the COVID stuff hit, my contract was up early, so I moved back to Raleigh with my folks. And now, next week, I'll be heading up to Morgantown to get my master's at a WVU. Right on. And That's I gotta ask, I gotta ask the same question, Sam. What's what's hanging up on the walls behind you? Oh boy! So these are all uh, old Sports Illustrated for kids covers. Oh Only the God. best. Only the I best. I got them all over the place. I got Ben Wallace, kind of like Williams, Y Guerrero, just staring me down. It's great. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for teams, I was born up on Cape Cod, so I'm a Boston fan through and through. Mm -hmm. And then for college. Um, when we moved down to Raleigh, everyone was like, you got to choose a team. Got to be State, Carolina, or Duke. And I went with State, and I regret that decision to this day. <laughs> stuck. Uh, <laughs> but then after working at Duke, it's like an excuse to actually go for Duke. So I've been yeah. using that 
to my advantage. Yeah, um, and then two years ago, I hopped on the Browns bandwagon for reasons I still don't know. So I'm a diehard Browns fan. I, 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 I hopped on that same bandwagon. I felt something growing. I'm telling you, when they got, I don't, I, it, and it wasn't even Baker. Um, mm-mm, mm-mm. It was when they got Tyrod. I go, Tyrod's the best quarterback they've had in like a decade. So they're going nine yeah. and seven. And spoiler, they went like six and ten. So I was wrong there, but it was close. This so, you know, it? this might turn into a Browns podcast real quick. <laughs> uh, just, just a warning to the fans, but uh, <laughs> cool. yeah, so that's my little background there. Cool. Anthony, what about you? Yeah, I'm Anthony Sprando. I'm originally from Elburn, Illinois. It's a western suburb of Chicago. Uh, through high school, I quickly became the leader of the student section and that brought me to Bradley University where I did my undergrad in sports communications. Hmm. Thought I was going to become a broadcaster and quickly realized not everybody makes it to ESPN. My buddies told me, hey, you have a knack for trying to get people to come out to sporting events and support teams, watch them on TV, etc. So ended up going towards the sports marketing route. Got an internship with the athletic department there and did that internship throughout the rest of my career and then ended up doing a couple internships in minor league baseball up in Wisconsin Rapids with the collegiate Northwoods team. And then also with the Peoria chiefs, singly affiliate of the St. Louis Cardinals. And then after college, I stayed on the sports marketing route, ended up getting a graduate assistantship at NIU Northern mm-hmm. Illinois university. <laughs> and that's where I met Tyler, where he came nice. a year later. I transitioned into full-time assistant director. So then I became Tyler's boss, which was a funny situation. I'm sure we'll share some of those stories throughout the podcast of, of that relationship. And, uh, and now I'm still the assistant director uh, at NIU and uh, trying to navigate these strange, strange waters of college athletics during yeah. the COVID times and not knowing what the hell we're doing. Well, there's a lot of people that are in the same boat as you. So um, a lot of empathy coming your way on that. Um, so a few questions. Um, what is the name of the show? Um, who are your guests going to be if there are going to be any guests? And when do you intend to launch it? Last question, how often do you plan to release episodes? Who wants to answer that one? <laughs> Anthony, our host? Sure. So our podcast is called Last Place Podcast. And our focus is primarily the business of sports and getting to know those who work in sports. And this podcast is going to be a little bit different than your typical, how do you get into sports and what's it like pulling a tarp and, you know, the, the interviewee just telling, Hey, if you got to get coffee, you got to get coffee. No, it's going to be that, you know, some of those questions, but then it's also, we're going to have some fun with it. Uh, one of our first guests, Blake, works for the Atlanta Falcons. You know, we're not going to just ask him, oh, how did you make it into the NFL business? No, we're going to ask him some cu- tough questions. How is Julio Jones? Is he a jerk or is he not? You know? <laughs> More hot takes. <laughs> or yeah. have you pressed the button to open the roof at Mercedes Benz Stadium? You know, that kind of thing. We're, we're going to have some cool. fun with it. Some, some other fun segments as well. I do some eBay sales as a side hustle. So we're going to get into that, some of the interesting finds. We're going to discuss some of the uh, marketing schemes that are out there right now. You know, there's some fun ones. There's some duds possibly. We'll say whether or not we like them. And then we'll have some top fives as well. Top five hockey sweaters, top five ice cream flavors, you name it. We'll get into that too. Let's go. Automatic cookie dough, vanilla, and nothing else is relevant. Strawberry cheesecake. No. Strawberry <laughs> cheesecake. Right. Hey, I like the strawberry oh, cheesecake. Oh, it's so good. That's a good one. I'm going to gown it out in like five minutes. Where, <laughs> where, can I, where can I get strawberry cheesecake? I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Dairy Queen. Like Anthony, <laughs> Anthony's okay. shaking his head. Dairy Queen. <laughs> little DQ Either action. Or a local supermarket. I don't know. I just... <laughs> I'll, I'll have to check it out. I... It's so good. I'm telling you. All right. We will right. be releasing next week on the 12th. Cool. And we will be doing a weekly podcast. Cool. Every Wednesday. Cool. Follow us on Twitter at Last Place Pod. Check us out. <laughs> cool. Well, anything else you want to leave uh, the audience with here, gentlemen? 
Um, yeah, so we asked all of our guests this, Jake. Um, what is your uh, most hottest sports take right now? Oh. Or any take. Or any take. It can yeah, be a movie be take. It can be sports take. Like, just the other day, Sam said the weekend was average as a singer. So that, oh, okay. that all alone is a hot take. The sun's cold, something like that. Oh, my gosh. Um, wow. This is going to get a lot of people good. Maybe good content for people. <laughs> so either sports or well, this this uh, this one might not be. I don't want this to be my answer, but uh, Jacob Slavin's the the best player in the NHL. Um, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me think on that one. Movies. What have I watched recently? You know, I, I'm thinking back on like. The movies that are, are so influential in, in my life um and really it boils down to like three movies forrest gump the rookie and ferris bueller's day off and, and the reason is because those were like the only three movies that we had up our cabin so uh, i think for mount rushmore of movies those three would be up there and then i think the one that i would sneak in gosh i just watched um what's it called um a few good men the one the tom cruise one Ooh. where he's a lawyer that's a phenomenal yeah. one but I, I, th I think the fourth movie on the mount rushmore it would be so it'd be forrest gump the rookie ferris bueller's day off and goodwill hunting i love it love it okay. <laughs> that's, I like that's that. a, yeah that's a good that's a good mount rushmore yeah well they're all like they're all pretty popular movies but i think i think the rookie's one of the most underrated movies out there. I'll be honest, I don't watch movies. I haven't seen a single one of those movies. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen Forrest Gump? No, nah, for me, my Mount Rushmore is just Napoleon Dynamite four times. Dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you don't watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I know somebody that uh, that he, he spent like two weeks learning that entire dance that Napoleon Dynamite did. <laughs> And that's so he'll awesome. rip like at bars. He'll just rip it out, and um, he'll, he'll get the people going. I mean, wouldn't, awesome. wouldn't surprise me if that was Sam. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> Little known secret. Uh, what about you guys? What if you could throw one more movie up on that Mount Rushmore? If there's a fifth face up there, um, who would be on it? Uh, a recent one that comes to mind. I just watched Ford versus Ferrari, and that, Ooh, was, that was really good. Incredible. I haven't seen that movie. I, I think I think I would throw that on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Sam's got Napoleon Dynamite, and so. then also Ford and Ferrari. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the He's a simple edition. guy. Yeah, he's a simple guy. I know what uh, I like. I know what I don't like. My easy one is Remember the Titans. Oh, okay. But Sports then movie. mine personally that is not on a lot of people's is Caddyshack. Oh yeah, Caddyshack. Caddyshack I think that gets overlooked. I, yes i could watch that one you're giving me bill murray vibes right now anthony <laughs> like, yeah, big, it's probably in chicago yeah yeah <laughs> yeah you know what's also a good movie from bill murray and i well, i'm just we're just kind of taking this you wherever it goes dine. here <laughs> um meatballs the one where that that uh never seen it oh no, i watched never it, I watched it. Meatball. oh never i watched it, it. No. I, I watched it like three weeks ago i'd never heard of it before but it's a, an old Bill Murray one, and he's like a, a camp counselor. Um, it's really heartwarming. It's not like oh. a normal Bill Murray movie. So it's kind of it's kind of off the off the beaten path a little bit, but it uh, it, it got the emotional juices flowing. There we go. There's a segment, boys. Meatballs review. <laughs> <laughs> we all watch it. We'll do a uh, hour by or a thirty minute breakdown of just the entire yeah. movie. Yeah, it could be a, a bonus a bonus episode for people. <laughs> Well, cool. Um, anything else you want to leave leave the audience with? I mean, we're excited to get going. Yeah. And if you all have any suggestions, just DM us on Twitter or find me or any of them on LinkedIn, and we will gladly do whatever we can to entertain. Yep, we are we are not professionals. <laughs> let us to know. Let us know what kind of guests you guys want to yes, see. Yes, also uh, we're, we're open. I, I think we're going to take. Like I said before, we're taking a little bit different of an approach. We're not always going to stick to the prototypical sports business people. 
we're going to reach out to some some different aspects of sports, hint hint esports, mm. and in some different uh, avenues. So we're always open to different ideas. Cool. Well, we'll try to get Ninja on the show then. That'd be pretty cool. Absolutely. <laughs> he is from nearby where I'm from, so who knows? Cool. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting the three of you. Um, I'm excited to have you join us and. Uh, Thanks again, and we hope you have a great week. Yeah, you awesome. too. Thanks for having us on. Y'all have a good one. Right on.